He asked me if I want to hold it. They say it'll be better if I do. They say they'll wrap it in a towel and give it to me and hold. I feel like saying I'd rather have the chips unwrapped. I'll eat them straight away. I don't... I can't... They, they ask me if I want to hold it. No. No, I can't hold it. They ask me if I want to hold it. I think the nurse called her it by accident. It was a girl. I don't hold her, nor does he. He took me to Brighton the day we got out of hospital. We got out. I got out of the hospital. I got out about 10 a.m. just after doctor's first rounds and he was there waiting for me. He drove me to Brighton, didn't announce it, just did it. He got me in the car and just kept driving. We went for a walk along the front and he got me this sausage and chips in a bucket thing which was hideous but nicely hideous I mean yeah it was nice he didn't eat I didn't notice that then and then we went and sat on the stones and we didn't speak to each other for ages and then he turned his head, turned to look at me, and asked me if I wanted to play on the 2P machines on the pier. I said no. He didn't touch me the entire time we were in Brighton. Actually, the entire day. I mean, not once did he touch me, nudge me, he's a nudger, to say, oh look at those fat birds struggling in the wind, they must have eaten one too many tourist chips, or doesn't the sea look beautiful with the sun setting on it like that? He didn't touch me to hold my hand. He even avoided touching me when changing gears in the car. My leg was right on the edge of the passenger seat and not once the entire journey did he accidentally nudge me when changing from first to second. Which means to avoid accidents you must really try. He didn't say he was doing it but that night post our Brighton Stony Beach adventures he didn't drive me home. He drove me to a hotel near the house. He drove me almost home, but then we swerved and ended up at a hotel. He drove me, then they let us into the room and we both got in undressed and into bed and he let me put my arm on him. I don't know whether it was deliberate not going home, that house, that bed. I'd had lots of thoughts when I, he, maybe he was doing it to protect me from it. <laughs> maybe he just thought I wasn't ready to see it. Or maybe, maybe he just couldn't cope with me being inside our room, not yet. So he thought he'd get used to me in another room, I don't know. It probably, probably mostly was, as I found out, it probably mostly was, I found out, well, you see, he hadn't changed the sheets. He just slept around the blood, not on it, around it. 